Department of Social Security can help you. Uh, yeah, I received a message about my Social Security number. Mm -hmm. Can you verify your first name, last name? Yeah, Bentley McBurgerton. Brittany? Bentley McBurgerton. McLean. What? Mac. Say that again? It's the Batlin Mac Perverson, right? Yes. Hold for the moment, please. Okay. I can just check it out if I find. Okay. Okay, so near here, you are reaching the Social Security Administration and the. Did you receive any call from your local legal department? No. Okay, and did they provide you any kind of case ID or reference ID? No. Mr. Bug. So here, well in that case, can you help me out with the date of birth and the last four of social number? Yeah, the last I can go ahead. The last uh, yeah, the last ahead. four of the social is zero four two zero. And my date of birth is one twenty five of nineteen sixty seven. Five, nine and sixty seven, right? Right. Okay, hold holding on, please. Okay. So, Mrs. Bagley, yes, here the reason we are trying to contact you today was to inform you regarding some legal and personal action file on your social number. Okay. And we have got an order to suspend your social at the right moment because we have found many suspicious activities going on with your social number. So here, I want you to grab a pen and paper handy and let me know whenever you are ready. Okay. Because I will go ahead and provide you some important points which you have noted down. Yeah, uh, I got I got my piece of paper right here. Okay, take your time, not a problem. I'm holding the line for you. All right, I'm 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 ready for your information. Okay, you have to first of all note down my name. Uh, this is Officer Mike Wagner. Mike Wagner. Yes. And my batch ID number. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's. I'm still writing your name down. Okay. Okay. What What's your batch ID number? And my batch ID number is MK7410. MK what? MK7410. 7410. Right. So now, uh, after that, you have to note down your case ID number. It's a DC7010. DC7 uh, uh, 7 what? It's seven zero one zero. Okay. And after that, the warrant ID number is five three seven five four two. Okay, say that in the last number again slowly. Five three mm -hmm. seven five four two. Okay, five three seven five four two. Okay, Miss. Okay. So now I will go ahead and read out the legal charges against your name. So I will highly appreciate you if you do not interrupt me between while I'm speaking. And I promise I will give you a fair chance to speak and raise your questions once I complete my part, okay? Okay. Yeah. So here, your social has been found for suspicious for criminal activities in the state of Texas. Have you ever been to the state of Texas before? No, I have not. Okay. Because we are taking this issue to the FBI headquarters as we are having a strong evidence. Okay. And the investigation and the investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas in the city of El Paso. And the car contains some blood as well as some amount of drugs inside the car. As after the investigation, we found that the car was rented on your name and on your personal social information. 
and there was two address which was linked with the title of the vehicle. So one of the address led us to the state of Pennsylvania to the city of Rowlett and it was an apartment which was raided by the US Marshal but unfortunately there was no one inside the residence but they got success to recover 8 to 9 pounds of cocaine which is an abusive drug and some documentation from financial institutes such as the Chase Bank, Bank of America, US Bank and ETC. And this entire paperwork has your name on it and thousand and thousand dollars has been wired from this bank accounts locally and internationally. So which totally seems suspicious to us. That is the reason we as a Social Security Administration of Texas has filed a case against you for the drug trafficking and as well as for the money laundering. And now let me know if you have any questions regarding this case file which is going to be executed once this line gets disconnected. Uh, that was how many pounds of what? Did you say that we was... are seeing that? Yes, ma'am. Because th there, w there will be under your name, there are, there will be a ten to fifteen bank accounts operating b under your name, and the many transfers, like thousand and thousand dollars, has been transferred under your name and your I personal identity vacation. So here, first of all. And then we have also checked your past records and we found that your bank contains genuine records and your social have no other complaint in the past. Right? So this is the only reason we're trying to reach you before you face any legal consequences from the federal government. Okay. So here if if you agree to help the Department of DEA or Drug Enforcement Administration in this case, then only we can put your arrest warrant on hold as we have to find the real culprit who have used your personal information toward this fraudulent activities. So are you willing to cooperate with us? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, miss. So now while in that case, let me go ahead and connect this line to the DEA officer from the Drug Enforcement Administration who is the authorized person in regards with your case. You go ahead and talk to them. You go ahead and let them know that you are not the one who did this, someone else has stolen your identity, okay? Okay. Yeah, so holding the line for a moment, I can just connect this call to the head account department team. They will assist you further with your case, okay? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Hello. Hello. Hi, this is John Williams from the DEA Drug Enforcement Department. How are you doing today? Doing fine. All right. So basically, as there is a case of a drug trafficking and money laundering, the previous officer was just talking to you, and uh, he might have explained to you what is this case all about. So, what do you have to say about that? Um, I'm not sure. I I, I know I didn't do it. Did you have any kind of problem in the past with your social, like someone else trying to file taxes under your name or your credit card, debit card has been lost, stolen or compromised? Any problems in the past? No. Have you been to any online websites for any online shopping, Amazon, eBay or any other online shopping websites? Have you been? Um, the only thing like that is I got... I got scammed by an Indian scammer that said something was wrong with my Microsoft computer about a year and a half ago. He, he, that, that, that scamming idiot, like, took, just, to, he wiped about my whole bank account out. Hello? Yeah. Sir, we are not here to do a time pass, okay? Uh, what was that? Hello? What, what did you say, Ben Chow? Your line has been connected to me. This is Mike Johnson. What are you doing now? 
Um, fucking your mom. And your father is here, okay? Have a wonderful day.